Good morning to you. I'm Jennifer Bayless. The Grammy award-winning Louisville Orchestra has announced its new season. It is a good one. It comes on the heels of director Teddy Abrams' big night at the Grammys earlier this month, so interest is very high. Joining us this morning to talk more about what's in store is Gabe Lefkowitz, concert master and resident conductor. Good morning, Gabe. First, we have to talk about the Grammys. Uh, what does this win mean for the Louisville Orchestra? It has been a really exciting two weeks at the Louisville Orchestra. We are so happy to be recognized for work that we feel and I think audiences know we've been doing for quite a while now. Absolutely. So we have this incredible history of being one of the most innovative, forward-looking orchestras on the planet. And this Grammy seems like kind of a culminating recognition of that. And we really feel that this is a shared award and victory for all of Louisville, the entire community, mm -hmm. because a great orchestra like the Louisville Orchestra does not exist without a great network of support and love from our audiences and music lovers in Louisville. And now the whole world knows exactly how awesome the Louisville Orchestra is yes. with this Grammy. So let's talk about the new season. Obviously, interest is high after the Grammy win. What are we expecting for the new season? Yeah, we just announced uh, subscription packages are available now. Nice. We are going big in 24-25. So on each of our various series, which are classics, film, mm -hmm. pops, we have really great musical offerings. On the pop side, of course, with Bob Bernhardt, we have music of the 80s. Mm -hmm. We have holiday pops. We have Rick Steves Europe. Rick Steves will be here. Uh, we have the music of Star Trek. On our film series, which is getting really popular, yeah. we perform film scores live to picture. Mm -hmm. And we are doing Nosferatu, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I think we're on Harry Potter's number seven and eight. Ah. So we're finishing out the series and Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay. Um, and then on our classic series, which is kind of our main stage series, mostly at the Kentucky Center for the Performing Arts, but also we are kicking off the season on that series at the Palace, at mm -hmm. the Louisville Palace, and doing The Planet, that huge epic work with Very a giant nice. orchestra. So, so much great stuff. Uh -huh. World-class soloists coming to play with your Louisville Orchestra. I encourage everyone, I mean, I would tell everyone to check out something from every different right. series because great music is great music. Uh -huh. But for those who know that they're really into pops or the mm -hmm. film or the classical, we do have those subscription packages available, and that's the best way to get the best, lowest, price kind of locked in for the entire season. And we know with the, with the new interest, we have some new folks who are kind of new to orchestra land. Yes. Uh, if you could recommend maybe one concert or one event for someone who's new, what would that be? If you're totally new, you've got to check out the film series. Okay. I think if you've, you, if, if you're, if you've never been to an orchestra concert before, the uh -huh. film series is fascinating. What we find is it allows people who love these classic films, Raiders yeah. of the Lost Ark, Harry Potters, to experience these beloved films like almost like they're new. Yeah. And some people are just blown away that an orchestra can stay in sync and perform and just sound like the actual movie score. Mm -hmm. And then other people just kind of get so focused on the music and they actually forget that the orchestra is mm -hmm. there and you know, except for little patch patches where they're like, oh my right. god, there's there's a hundred people on stage. Yeah playing this music live to picture. So if for the person who is totally unfamiliar with orchestral concerts, mm -hmm. that's what I would suggest. But really, you know, we present music in as visceral and yeah. accessible a way Absolutely. as possible. It's a big part of our mission under Teddy's guidance mm -hmm. um, to be as welcoming. And, you know, we're always talking at the concerts and explaining the context of what yes. we're doing and why we've put those pieces together. And then, you know, we, we just want people to be moved by the music, really. And we absolutely so. are. All right, Gabe Lefkowitz, thank you so much. Thanks Louisville for having Orchestra, me. best of luck with the new season. Thank you very much.